Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm April Honey. Today we are going to be touring the island of Nova Wisp by my good friend Shumi. This island is a beautiful medieval island. I can't wait to show it to you. It's very castle core and it's really very much like a medieval town marketplace kind of island. It's so cool and I can't wait for you guys to see it. Let's get started. So right away, we ended up in this train station. This is where we landed, which is very clever. This train here, I just noticed that on top of the stall, there is some wooden boxes so that you can't actually see through the train, which is really cool. I do love the wood stone as a steam engine still. That's still my favorite thing to use. And there are two trains right here and they lead to this tunnel right over here, which is really neat and I love that. Up top over there is a little waiting area which is going to be really cool. At the end of this video I'm going to put up some wide angle photos that I took of the island that I thought were really cool so hopefully you guys will enjoy those but we're going to go ahead and head on over this way. It's really the only way we can go. So right behind me we have a lovely barn dominium. It's going to be in front of the farm so let's get behind it and go check out the farm over here okay so here we are on the farm and we have some crops growing over here i really love these custom codes right here those are absolutely beautiful right here we have a villager house i'm not exactly sure whose house that is but i love the lanterns hanging off of those lamp posts right there those are really cool and it looks like a whole food processing center with the tanks above and the oil barrel tub it does look like it serves a whole purpose and I love that. There's laundry hanging over by the well, which is very quaint and cozy. This area right here is really cool. Okay, so I'm going to head through this little gate right here and see what we have up here. So up here, it looks like we have a little farmer's market, which is adorable. They're sold out of something. And then there's some veggies right over here. Those little baskets are so cute. And if you look inside, that looks adorable. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go through this tunnel over here and look at this area right here. So this neighborhood right here is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. It looks like it's a several story house. I love the way this looks. So pretty. It goes really well with the ca castle items and the storefronts that are behind it. The trees are perfection here. And moving right along, we're going to go ahead and go through here. The rest of that canal is right there. And we're going to go through this way. Everything looks so beautiful um, because it's just worn and it gives off that really old kind of town. There's a little sitting area in here. Every Every little space has like an area in it, which I really do love. No space was left behind on this island. So if you go forward through this way, that would be Dominic. And there's the little ticket counter for the train and a little waiting area right over here. This would be the waiting area for the train. It looks great. I love the suitcase. I love the bottles right there on the wooden crate. The overgrown wheat fields, everything looks amazing right here. We have some recycled paper bundles that look really good and some stagecoaches right over there. Okay, so if we come over here, there is a villager house right here. It does look beautiful. There's a little seating area right over here and the rest is just very cozy and kind of enclosed. Okay, so we're going to go through this tunnel right over here and then we're going to try and head over in a different direction. So if we go this way, there's a little stand right here that's really cute. It's like you can buy a little coffee and that's really nice. And then I'm going to come down here. So right here is Resident Services where I started it all. The view at Resident Services is phenomenal, really cool. I love the way the buildings look in the background behind Resident services and over to the side. It's very enclosed on one side. Luna's just hanging out there. And then we have this little beautiful seating area right here. I would love to hang out right here. This is gorgeous. So along this side, we have this tiny natural area on the island. Also, this book on the mushlog is a total vibe. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. 
So if we go right here, we have a villager house. They were obviously doing their washing right over there. If we continue on back over here, we have a person's house and they have a cauldron outside. Okay, so coming into the house, it is a little bit scary. Not gonna lie, there's a cricket in here. I don't know if it's for a spell, but it looks like a little witch's kind of lair. It's super cute. This area right here is really pretty um, with the little jars and everything. And then over here is like her little office of sorts where she's writing spells and doing all of the things. I love that shelf placed right over the desk like that. That's really good. Okay, up here is sort of like a bedroom. It looks so pretty. I love this vine lamp right here. There's books. It's very cozy. There's a little shell music box right over here. And then if you look at that window right there, that is stunning. So beautiful. The view behind it is gorgeous. Over that way, it looks like we have the stairs to the great beyond. Has anyone ever noticed that on that log shelf, there's a little owl on it? How have I never noticed that? Four years and sometimes you never stop learning. So over here, we have a cozy little kitchen. It's not meant to go into. It's just there for looks. It's very cute though. Really pretty. All right, we're going to go back downstairs. Okay, so before we leave, I just want to show you this. Do you see this? There is no basement. No creepy below in the great beyond to scare you. Nothing. No creepy dolls. Just nothing there. Okay, I will meet you back at Resident Services. Okay, back behind Resident Services, we're going to go ahead and take this path that leads downwards right here. Look at how cool everything looks. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Over here, there's like a little fortune teller stand. I guess you can buy your potions here. Very cool. And right in front of that, did you guys, do you guys see this? Really quick, right in front of the potion shop, there's this little area right here with a little book stand, a little coffee shop, and a little place to sit down and enjoy a meal on a rooftop. That's really, really cute. Back down here, let's head on over this way. Oh, we're gonna come out to a little pier. Look at the dock and the water. That looks gorgeous, so pretty. I love that. What is floating in there? That's really neat. So pretty. And there is a villager here that is home right now. We'll try not to disturb them too much. If you look over the top of the roof, there is a flag up there, super cute. This looks so good. Oh my gosh. And I love this whole little pier environment right here. This is really neat. Wow. On the map, we're like right in front of the peninsula, which is really cool. Heading on over to this edge, you can see along the beach right there, there is a continuation of the water. And we do have a wildly decorated peninsula right here. Super cute. Always looks beautiful. I love this. Okay, so we're gonna head back this way and we're gonna go back instead of front and see what's going on back here. We have a little farmer's market. Look at how cute. There's flowers, there's stalls everywhere. I love this little marketplace. There's a little bistro table right there and some soup. It looks so good. This island is absolutely stunning. And just to show you everything she has for sale over here, I really love the bread over on that back stonework kitchen. That's a really nice touch. Very cute, very effective. All of the little baskets are super cute. So we have a cute little gazebo right next to the Abel sisters. Super cute. I love the wagon right next to it and the little swinging bench. Everything here looks beautiful, super fitting. And the Able Sisters right here has the perfect outfit in the window. Like, she said she didn't plan it, but there couldn't be a better outfit here in the window. I've never had luck like that. If I pan up a little bit, you'll be able to see the little garden faucet and a bucket. There's little details in every spot. If you open your inventory, you'll see that there's like a little sewer line right there. There's details everywhere on this island. She said this island took her over a year to finish. I definitely believe that. I think something like this would take me a very long time. 
because we haven't been back here yet and I'm really, really intrigued by it. We have what looks to be a courtyard, very cool. So it's like a courtyard and almost like a castle and like a knight's kind of hideaway or something like that. I don't know, it looks really cool. There's a crest on the door. I love this custom code and this one is available in her stand right up front by Luna. This one's one that she made on this island. The basket of fruit over on the stonework kitchen is perfection. Everything looks gorgeous here. The doors behind the gate look perfect. Everything is so good. Everything just stunning. And if you look up there, you could totally see a sofa and everything over there. That's so cool. Like if they're looking out over the courtyard. Okay, so in this house, it looks like there is um, a stairway going up to the great beyond over here. Well, through a door we can't go through. There's a prison. There's jail bars. Why are there jail bars? All right, so we have both of the other rooms. Okay, so right in here, we have a little seating area right there. It's a, a tight squeeze over here. There's a place for someone to entertain us. It looks like a little bar, almost like a, um, a hangout or something. We're going to come up here and oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a royal kind of meeting area. She did tell me what this was and I can't for the life of me remember. I feel like we just showed up in Hogwarts, but look at how cool this is. This is really neat. And the windows back there are beautiful. The view is stunning. All of this is gorgeous. Wow. Okay, this is exactly why I don't like basements. What is going on in here? Oh, I didn't know you could turn that on. Why is Brewster in here hosting his own little, I don't know, his own something or another? What's he doing in here? Why are there butterflies flying around the book of butterflies? All of this is crazy. Wow. It does look really cool, though. At least there's no bodies down here. I'm happy that there's no like dungeon area. Although if you go back there and you pull the book, what in the world? What kind of room are you going to end up in if you pull that book over? Over there on the shelf and why is he what is he trying to tell me he's talking we need to leave okay so right up here on this rooftop super cute there's a little stairs leading to it you can go up on this rooftop over here and have a seat or over here and look over the courtyard it's really pretty you have this lovely view of the back of the island really neat and there's a tunnel over here i think you can only go this way so if you go this way, you're going to have some rooftop dining over here. Very cute. Where is this? This is gorgeous right over here. Just the view is stunning. That would be right above this walkway right here. Okay, so this walkway on the other side of all of this building right here is the two houses with the canal and over this way is the rooftop and this is just a walkway in between very cool over here we have a little backwards treasure i use that as well i turn those backwards the chests and we do have a villager's house right here super cute there's a little stand right over here which is adorable i love it gorgeous and then we have another villager house right over here super beautiful I love the signs up there. This looks like it's a little tavern sort of situation. It looks really good. Oh, Shumi's up here. Off to the tavern. You coming? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And here would be another little seating area right above the tavern. So if you look at these, and I'm turning off collision, but if you look at them, there's like doors, right? But if you go in the door up above, there's a place to sit. So it's like they're actually leading places, even if you can't immediately get to them and that's really cool here's um somewhere where you can buy a drink and over here it looks this is very steampunk i really like this this house is so cool i have no idea what's in here oh no this is where you buy weapons look at that so there's all kinds of sharp objects you can hurt yourself with here nice but you can buy things here to get in trouble with and you can drink right outside i don't know about that one who was in charge of that and then if we go up here, um, there's a cute little cozy apartment. Very sweet. This I do love a lot. So pretty. I love the bedding here. It's really nice. 
Okay, I'm going to run through the island and see if there is anywhere that I have not taken you yet. It appears that we have come to the end of this island. I will put across some slides so you can see some wide angle photos of it. Well, I say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you so much. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. I know you can be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit of your time and I appreciate you so much for that. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!